Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is chore day and I am getting ready to make some more lap steak for my next trip and I figured even though my house is a disaster, I'm kind of in a disaster, the kids are doing school, it's crazy. I figured I would show you real quick how I make this and then maybe you can give it a try and tell me what you think. I'll get to the process in just a second. All right, so I have a dehydrator. My dehydrator has the metal racks and I have seven of them. So what I do is I lay my steak all out. Now this is a thinly sliced New York strip loin that I get from Costco. It comes pre-sliced like this at my Costco. If you don't have that, what you can do is actually go to any place that has a butcher, get a roast and ask them to slice it on a number two. And that will give you these nice thin pieces. So then I lay it all out on my dehydrator racks. Now, I'm using Redmond Real Salt for these four guys. So I've got those four. I've had the, I know I love it. While I was at the Metabolic Health Summit, they gave me their smoked salts. So now I'm gonna do these other three trays with the smoked salts. I already did cherry on this one. Cherry's on this guy right here. And I figured I should show you how I sprinkle it on. I mean, it's literally as much or as little as you want, but I figured you guys would probably wanna see it. So let me try to get the phone semi situated so I can do that for you real quick. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this by holding my phone. <laughs> we'll see, it might shake too much. So I just sprinkle it on. I mean, that's it's as simple as that. You can do regular seasoned salt. You can do regular salt, just plain salt. You can do these smoked salts. I mean, there's so many options. You really could do whatever you want. So I'm gonna finish shaking the salt on top of this. This one is the chef's blend, the chef's blend of their smoked salts. So I'm gonna finish shaking this on top so I stop shaking the camera. And then I will take you over to the dehydrator and show you what it looks like to put them in there. Okay, I just loaded everything up into my dehydrator. I put alphabetical order, chef's blend, cherry, hickory, and then seasoned salt so that I can kind of keep them in order. So these are gonna go in here close my little guy magic mill it's seven tray I'll link it down below in my Amazon store uh, okay so we're gonna go last time I did eight hours and it was just about perfect at 167 mine is weird it goes in these weird increments <laughs> so I think 167 worked I mean you could try 158. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. Yeah, we'll do 158 this time. 167 works, we're gonna try 158. And uh, then I killed it. We don't wanna do that. There we go. And uh, we're just gonna let that go for eight hours and then I will show you the results after we finish up chore day. Alrighty, it beeped, it is all done. Let me open this up. And this, oh, it smells so good. Let me see. No, it's not too hot at all. This is what they look like. So, we've got these are all nice and dry and this fat is going to be absolutely amazing so that is all of my new lap steak sorry i'm in the homeschool room the kids are in the kitchen cooking dinner so i figured i'd just finish this up in here um so that is what that looks like and it is nice and dried. 
I'm actually fasting right now, so I'm not going to eat this, but it's got a fantastic crunch. It's kind of like carnivore crisps from what I've been told. Never had them, but that's what I've been told is that they're like carnivore crisps with any flavoring that you like and uh, nice and affordable for you to make on your own. So do me a favor, try it out. Let me know what you guys think and what seasonings you like to put on yours and uh, tell me all about it and come over to my Mighty Network and post pictures of it or come to my Facebook group and post pictures there so that we can all share ideas with one another uh, for fantastic ways to travel. This is absolutely wonderful for when you're traveling and whether you're on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Thanks so much guys for checking in today. I hope that you enjoy the lap steak and we will see you guys on the way. Bye. Decided that I wanted to go ahead and do a taste test for you guys now that I'm not fasting and it's obviously not the same day because I'm not wearing the same thing. Um, oh, that's hot. It's very, very hot. So I figured I would do a quick taste test for you guys for you to see. Here is the seasoned salt. That's the one I made the most of. This one is my favorite, um, obviously, because I haven't had the other ones. <laughs> but I did try regular plain salt and then the seasoned salt. I prefer the seasoned salt. You can see the seasoned salt kind of all over that. And then the other side is just plain. I store these in the fridge in a Ziploc bag because I don't want them to potentially go bad. So, yeah. Mm. I love that flavor. It's so good. It's so, it's very chewy. It's like jerky. Mm. And then the fat gives it amazing flavor. So that's my original one that I do. Now these are the three different types of smoked salts that Redmond's has. So I'm gonna try each of these and see if I can discern a difference. Probably won't be able to, but we'll see. I do have an affiliate code for Redmond's. It is down below. So if you wanted to try any of these smoked salts or their seasoned salts or anything else like that, feel free to click that down below. I believe that my code is down there as well. So you can click on the link and then enter in the code and then you should be able to get your discount. This is the Chef's Blend. Let's see. Oh, the kids are watching TV. Sorry. Mmm. It's got almost a teriyaki jerky flavor. Yes, that. Not yet. Maybe in a minute. Mmm. Mm. That's good. You want some electrolytes? Go get it. Can you reach them? Isabella Jasmine. Speaking of electrolytes. My kids like to eat Redmond's Relight electrolytes. They eat it just like... Hey, um, I got it. Here, just hand me your thing. They stick it into one of these little cups, <laughs> just like that, and they will sit there and eat it like a pixie stick. I uh, find that they love the Relight better. It doesn't have as much of a, oh no, the ducks are playing, fantastic. It doesn't have too much of the citric acid. For them, they really like it. Oh, doggies, horrible timing. Okay, I swear I'm gonna get through this. This is the hickory. I started to write chef's blend. I was like, blend? No, that's chef, oh, jeez. So, here's the hickory. Ooh, it does smell different. It tastes very much like hickory smoked beef. It's not as sweet. The other one has a sweeter flavor. With the cherry, this is the cherry. So I'm gonna eat a little piece of this. 
So you can see these ones, there's not really anything on either side. It's just the salt was on there and then the... Mmm. It actually is quite a bit sweeter. I have to say from my taste, I think I like the chef's blend. The combo of the hickory and the cherry together makes it almost taste like a teriyaki. I put nothing else on this except for that salt. Mm. Oh my goodness. That's so good. I just wanted to show you guys me actually consuming the products. And you take a thumbnail too. So I should do that. But anyways, let me know down below if you make this stuff and how you prepared it and how it turned out. Thanks so much, guys.